It's Joe from Angels and Ancestors. Um, apologies if you haven't seen the monthly reading. Um, I've had a dreadful time with electronics. Uh, Mercury hasn't been very kind to me um, this time in retrograde, and it, it normally isn't, so I should know better. Um, so I'm just really looking forward to it going completely direct again. Um, and I'm still kind of reeling and being affected from, from the eclipses in um, July. A lot of positive things have happened to me um, this year. And up until I would say the 19th of July, everything has been so positive. And then on the 19th of July, my mum was taken into hospital very seriously ill. She's home now. She is still very ill, um, but she is home and she's doing a bit better because she's in her own home, so that's good. And unfortunately, um, my little boo, uh, my little Westy, my little white dog, uh, went over Rainbow Bridge on the 30th of July. So um, there's been a few things that have, and the car's gone wrong, and the camera's gone wrong, and just the normal stuff as well as the hard to swallow stuff. So anybody out there who's going through a tough time at the moment, I am completely there with you. I completely understand what you're going through. Um, not that I haven't been through stuff before, but it's just been a really positive year so far for me. I'm just hoping that August will kind of see a return of the better stuff. Um, coming forward for everybody so this is going to be a weekly reading for the collective and it's the fourth today so this will go through to the 11th of August um, I'm hoping to get back um, on track and start doing these on a Friday evening again because that's when I prefer um, to put them out so that you've got them for the weekend However, as you know, things went wrong. So, as this is a collective reading, it's a general reading, it's not a love reading. If love comes out, it'll come out. Um, it's not going to be for everybody, so take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If something resonates for somebody around you, take the message to them for me, please, because it would be important for them to have that. Um, and what else was I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah, I've got a new um, setup as well where there's a lot of natural light coming through. Um, and I'm quite pleased with this here because I, I can see better as well. So with the weekly readings, I've decided only to use two decks. If anybody else feels that I need to be doing other decks, the monthly reading was 42 minutes long and I hate it when... Um, a reading is that long and these cards are really not chucking anything out so I'm going to be using these ones these are Greenwich Tarot which I love to use and I'm also going to be using um, the Gaia Oracle which is this one here so can I have a foundation card for the collective thank you oh two lovely and can I have a card that's going into the past for this week, the 4th to the 11th of August, please? Can I have a card that's going in the past for the collective? Thank you. And can I have a thoughts and feelings card, please, for the collective? A thoughts and feelings card for the collective, please, for the 4th to the 11th of August, 2019. Earlier, these chats out about three in the main in the monthly, so and the cards have been acting very good, so we we'll just have to wait to see if it gives us any thoughts and feelings. Our thoughts and feelings for the collective, please. Thank you. Three, I think, again. Two, three. 
right. Okay. for the future okay because there's a lot of you out there and some of it will resonate some of it won't um, I will do the cards individually and then I will read them together for you um, because some will be okay and some won't oh that's just gone for a bit never mind let's put them to one side for now so what we have got we've got the four of wands there's celebrations around there is um, a crop coming in, something that you've planted either at the tail end of last year or the beginning of this year and it's coming to fruition. You're going to be able to celebrate. There's going to be celebrations and um, a lot of happiness around. I feel that this week is going to um, kind of turn around for those of us that aren't having such a good time. Um, I, I'm just getting that a message a mess messages are going to come through and it's it's going to um be fruitful that's what i've just been told it's it's saying to me look at the card there is a message it's going to be fruitful so that's the current situation your um your challenge right so the Nine of Wands for me is one of these cards where you're being overprotective about a project. Um, it's your work, so you don't want to share it. But your challenge is is to not be overprotective. It's to kind of share your knowledge with others. And it's kind of like share the celebrations with others. If other people have worked on the project with you and the project is suddenly coming to an end and it's going to be successful those people that have worked with you also need to be doing the celebrating so as your foundation you have got the knight of pentacles now the knight of pentacles for me is bringing in a message around um, money and um, bills and all of that sort of thing but it's coming in pretty slow so I think you found like part of your foundation is going to be that you've had to try and make ends meet for a while. Um, I know I certainly have, even though I've had lots and lots of good news coming towards me. Um, and I've had lots of positive things happen to me. Um, the financial side of things this year has been appalling. So you've got news trotting in towards you. It's not coming in particularly fast. But over the next week, you may well see um that there's a message around money your foundation on that is quite solid and i'm getting the feeling that although there has been an issue around money you're still managing to pay the bills so your foundation is okay then you've got the um ace of a theme is now when i see this card normally i would say that there is obviously new beginnings but when I looked at this card, I immediately thought that um, there's going to be a cutting loose. There is going to be a change in your foundation. Um, and that could be that you're going to be hearing about some positive news around your finances. So you're, it looks like your foundation is actually going to get stronger and not be so rocky around the finances. Um Going through to your um, past is nature. Now, in other decks, this is the devil, but in this deck, it's nature. And in the background, you can see fairies dancing, and you can see a bear watching this guy set a trap. And is it natural for the bear to go and step in the trap, or is it natural to go and play and dance with the fairies? Um, don't fall for traps. Don't. It's not natural for anybody to get trapped into something. Don't fall for traps. These are now going behind you. So it looks like you may have decided to dance with the fairies and not 
get trapped by this, this guy that's setting this trap. It's something that's quite negative, that's leaving your energy, it's leaving your realm. So be aware that, that whatever it is for you, if it's resonating for you, you will know what that card is. I know what it would mean for me, um, and I'm pretty sure that most of you out there can um, take on board that something hasn't been right and you do feel like you've been trapped for a while and that is moving away from you now. So in your thoughts and feelings, three cards fell out and juggling, juggling money. So that goes in with your foundation. Your thoughts is around money. It's around family. It's around how am I going to get this done? It's juggling your time. It's juggling your friendships. Um, all I can say about the juggling part is juggle with the things that are really important. The rest of it, just let it fall into line when it falls into line. Um, and stop worrying about things. I mean, I, I'm just getting that somebody's got a massive headache from worrying about all of this stuff. And then we've got a return of rods. And again, um, we've got the seven of wands, which is rods in other um, decks. And it's kind of, there's a choice to be made. You've got several wands to choose from. You've got a choice to be made. Um, and if you look at what she's doing, she's propping herself up on a stall and she's trying to reach up for a wand. Now, I'm not a great lover of health and safety, but there's a fire, there's all sorts of things that could go wrong. Be careful with your choice. What's in your head does not necessarily mean that that is the positive way forward. And I'm also gonna come back to the Nine of Rods about celebrating with others around your um, projects and not being so um, protective of your projects. Again, ask for help. If you cannot reach where you're going to, do not fall down and get burnt. Ask for the help that you need. And then that comes into, in your thoughts, is the Eight of Wands. Now, some of this will resonate with some of you. Some of it won't resonate with some of you. But the Eight of Wands also indicates being alone. It's, it's having um, set everything up to do this project. The project is coming to fruition now. But in your thoughts, you are still being protective. You are still thinking that you need to be doing this alone. You don't. Um, you are careful and methodical. And you are one of these people that doesn't share things very easily. You And you don't ask for help very easily. But you really need to. I mean, this is screaming that you need to be collectively working with others for the perfect outcome. So if I read those three cards together, you're juggling, you're not asking for help and you're still being quite insular. You're, you're not reaching out. Um, and the, re and the, the not reaching out and the not asking for help means that you're juggling much more than you should be. Um, and some of these burdens that you are picking up along the way, um, and I hate getting to the 10 of um, wands, a friend of mine says, oh no, 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 that's the end of the burdens, I don't feel it is, I feel it's still heavily weighted against you. Um, and I just feel that with all this juggling and all these rods and wands and everything that are floating around, you really do need the help. You really need to ask. So stop putting that off. Get that thought, those thoughts out of your head and get the thought that you are going to ask for help. Because if you do, you have got three fabulous cards. You've got the King of Pentacles. Now this guy is a retired gentleman. He is one who has been successful. He's got money in the bank and he has got a wealth of knowledge to share with people that he, and he enjoys this, he enjoys giving 
the benefit of his wisdom to people who want to start something new an apprenticeship this is the page of pentacles an apprenticeship where you will learn to do something that um will bring in some money for you it's it's a skill it's a craft it's a way of being but it has to be learned it is an apprenticeship and that will help you bring on your projects and it will give you money and then you've got the ace of chalices so not only have you got this nice old guy but you've got a cup coming towards you that is full and it is full of love it's full of hope it's full of promise it's full of help it's it's just full of everything um so the future i say normally three to six weeks or three to six months um because this is a weekly reading i'm going to say this is three to six days i mean what a fabulous thing to be coming in look out for the older gentleman he may be related to you he may be a friend's parents but look out for him and look out for the opportunity that's coming up to do this apprenticeship that your projects will take off and they will come to fruition with other people in tow leading to this wonderful cup wow what a reading i am well impressed i am so impressed with this reading so on the bottom of the deck we have the harvest the harvest is coming in and it is plenty and it's fruitful and the guy's having a chat with the pixies who's helped bring the fruit the fruit and the veg in and the house is is pretty phenomenal um, and everything is looking pretty good at the moment it's just your thoughts are stopping you so let's ask Gaia for some guidance around the week of the 4th to the 11th of August for the collective please. Some guidance from Gaia for the 4th to the 11th of August 2019. Guidance from Gaia please. These cards are being really tight. Can I have some guidance, please, for the collective? Thank you. Two more shuffles. Right. We have perception. And this card says, beyond the veil of illusion, so it may be that someone's hiding something from you or you're hiding something from somebody else or that you may just need to lift the veil to get those thoughts out of your head and allow you to move forward and ask for help. It is your perception that is stopping you, your pride that is stopping you. I've just heard that from them up there saying this is prideful. This is something that you have learned. This is something you're being told to stand on your own two feet. Do it for yourself. Don't just do it for yourself. Ask for the help. There are people out there that have got plenty, plenty of wisdom, plenty of knowledge. They know how to do this. Tap into that. It is there for the taking. I'm just... I am just going to, I keep on, and I'm, I'm being told that I need to do a blessing card for the collective. I was kind of looking at the angel cards and they kept going, no, it's not that one. So, and I knew it was a purplish colour, so I need a blessing for the collective for the week. Oh. I think they want to chuck the whole deck at you. Okay. So, all oh, there's two. So, you have a blessing here to heal a relationship. 
And in the monthly reading, there was lots about relationships and the ending and beginning of. Um, so pop over and have a look. You can whisk through it if you want to. Um, but yeah, a blessing to heal a relationship. Now, that doesn't necessarily have to be lovers. It can be mums and daughters, dads and daughters, dads and sons, mums and sons, children and parents. It could be... A business partner, it could be a friend, it could be a lover, it could be um, a work colleague. But it's a healing card for you. And then this card has come out several times this month. And I've been feeling the pinch of this because of how um, sick my mum is at the moment. And um, also, it says those who... Um, that I also lost my beautiful little white dog. So this is a blessing for those who are nearing their final breath. So if you are going through the sadness of losing a loved one, or losing a pet, or losing something that you have cherished for a long time, um, my heart goes out to you. Um, and I send you love and light to carry you through this difficult time. Um, as I say, this card has come out several times over some readings over the last week. So I think there's a lot of you that is dealing with some sort of loss. So that's your weekly, my lovelies. I will get this uploaded as quickly as possible because it should have been done Friday. Um, have a fabulous week. And I will catch up with you hopefully next Friday instead of Sunday so you've got it for the weekend. Bright blessings everyone. Bye bye for now.